So I'm a female teacher, and I teach boys in high school. Is it bad for me to teach them because as a lady, I'm not supposed to raise my voice? Secondly, can I be a lecturer at the university in Kenya? Because we lack Muslim studies, Islamic studies lecturers in public universities because I was taught by Christians. To yourself. First of all, it is not permissible at all for a woman to teach men. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. The children in high school, are they boys below the age of puberty? Or they are men? They are men. Yeah, and it, she, she, you're telling me you're teaching them Islamic studies. Don't you think that the 30 students, one at least will fantasize about this teacher of ours? If not all, this is totally prohibited in Islam. This defies the purpose of hijab. Yesterday we mentioned, if Islam protects the woman by not allowing a slanderous word to come against her, otherwise it will be flogged seven, 80 uh, lashes. Not allowed to go out wearing perfume, not allowed to strike the floor with her leg so that people would hear her anklet, not allowed to touch the opposite gender. And you, this defies the hijab for you to teach high school uh, uh, students. Max is 10 years of age. Even 11, 12, the boys, you know, start looking and you, you oh, mashallah. No, this is no, no, no good. In university, it's even worse. So, teach them Quran, teach them uh, Hadith, teach them Usul al-Fiqh. This goes against what you are teaching and preaching. So you say that there's no one else to teach them. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> the, save yourself. This is your prerogative. This is your objective in this world. Save yourself from hellfire. Do not be like a candle that gives light to the people but burns itself. Save yourself on the day of judgment. Go to paradise. You have done your duty, inshallah. <laughs>